In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do product research without spending hours researching, so be sure that you stay tuned. What's going on guys, Bashar K2 here. Thank you very much for tuning into my channel. If it is your first time, consider subscribing as I do uh, post once per week about Amazon FBA and other you know, ways to making money online. And I also post sometimes, you know, things about mentality and the mindset and kind of just how to get your finances right, um, whether if it's sales, sales funnels, whether if it's Facebook ads, Google ads, things like that. So anyhow, if you like my channel, consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Now, in today's video specifically, I'm going to be talking about how you can go out there and find you a product or even multiple products that's selling on Amazon. And we're not just talking about any product, but we're talking about profitable product that have the potential of making you a minimum profit of three to five thousand dollars per month with literally zero time doing research on your own. Now, I know many of you guys are like what are you talking about, man? Like that is not even possible. I know that a lot of my students come up to me and they say, hey, I've been researching for five, six, seven, eight hours and I simply just haven't found any products, right? Or especially in the beginning, you may think that you know what you're doing and then they send me some products for me to analyze them. And then, you know, I say, well, this is too competitive. This is, you know, the demand is very low or something like that, right? And then they just get frustrated. And then over time, I started seeing that many of my students were kind of dropping, although I kept on keeping them motivated, kept on keeping them engaged in the program. But the problem was they were getting discouraged, right? Because they were doing product research and they just couldn't, you know, seem to find the product to launch, especially when it's your first one. You know, you come to this, you're all excited, you're all motivated, you're hot, you just want to really make it happen. And then, you know, you start researching for products and nothing right i know that a lot of you guys are probably have been in that position or maybe even are in that position right now i know when i first got started that was something that i personally was facing all the time it was just a problem that i was facing and literally the reason why my first 30 products failed because i got so fed up with research that i just launched anything i just wanted to see a product on amazon right because i was researching for months and i just couldn't find something good now, without any further ado, let's go ahead and go into exactly what the heck am I talking about? So what I am talking about is this. And before I go into it, I want to ask you guys something. Now, those of you that either have sold on Amazon or wanting to sell on Amazon, I'm pretty sure you're already thinking, OK, who's going to do my pictures, right? Who's going to do my product listing? Maybe I'll have someone outsource or maybe you join some course or maybe someone is teaching you. Or maybe you just think that, you know what, you're naturally good at copy, right? But pictures, I know that's something that many people actually outsource. They have someone else do it for them, right? And then, you know, keyword search, very important. PPC, who is going to help you launch this product? And then you may already be thinking, well, maybe I'll have this person help me or that agency or that mentor, right? The reason why I'm saying all this is because you are doing all these things and then you're going to be getting all these people involved in your product launch or product creation and launch or whatever, right? The whole journey from A to Z. And all these people are going to know about what product you're selling. You may think, okay, why don't you get to the point? I am in the point. You see, many people are so afraid, especially like private label, like us private label, you know, sellers, we're always so afraid that we don't want people to know about what product we're selling, right? We don't want people to know about exactly what it is that we are, you know, that we've spent hours and tens of hours researching. And maybe that is exactly why we're so protective of it. And that also holds us back from really expanding this product. Like a lot of times I see many listings that literally just have some really bad pictures. And I'm like, why don't you have someone else do the pictures for you? And then the seller would be like, well, I don't want people to know about my product. Okay. Well, you see someone like, what's a big name now? Someone like Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos had a crazy and big idea for a website to, you know, to selling books online. Now, me and you guys are sellers on that platform. Well, Jeff Bezos doesn't exactly know how to do all these crazy things and codings and all the fulfillments and things like that. Well, he hires people to do those for him, right? If he was always afraid of, well, I don't want to let people into my idea. Like when he went to finding, you know, uh, investors when he first got started, he pitched his idea to all these people that could have literally turned around and went and did it themselves, right? 
because he knew where he was going, right? And the same thing with you guys. Don't let fear of, oh, what if this person knows what I'm doing? What if that person knows what I'm launching? Hold you from expanding. Now, you may say, can you please get to the point? Yes, product research. Just like how you outsource photography, just like how you outsource product listing, product creation, uh, uh, listing creation, I mean, you know, whatever else that you outsource, why not? Wait for it. Wait for it. Why not outsource product research? Right? Mind blown. Now you might be thinking, okay, this is probably the dumbest thing that I've ever heard in my life. Sure it is until you actually start doing it. Now just think about it this way. What about all these hours and hours and hours of research that you are going to be spending researching for a product? Those of you that actually either started or wanted to start and never really got to launching a product or want to start and just haven't pulled the trigger or started and just aren't where they really, you know, like you see all these, you know, gurus with Lambos and all these guys making money online with Amazon. Yeah, you're like, yeah, but I just, I don't know how these guys are doing it, right? And then you may think about it. Well, it's taken me like, I don't know how many weeks or how many hours or how many months to launching one product, right? How am I going to launch 10, 15, 20 products? Now, yeah, sure, funds might be, you know, part of it because you just don't have the funds to keep launching products. So you're waiting for one product to maybe cash flow. But what if you had the funds? You know, what if you got a loan? What if you had a credit card they could put, you know, what if you have a business partner? What if the funds were not a problem? But finding a profitable product was a problem, right? And then you're just researching, researching, researching. And it's like research is never ending, right? And you're just not finding the product, right? So what about we outsource it? Now you may think, okay, so now I'm with you. Let's outsource it. But how exactly are we going to go about that, right? Who exactly are we going to have do the job for us and who exactly you know how are we going to go about it right and that's exactly what i'm about to show you guys in this uh video or in the remaining of this video so if you guys enjoyed or have enjoyed this content so far consider subscribing to my channel if this is your first time also give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends if you think that there's some actually some value being dropped in here what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go inside of my screen i'm going to provide you guys with provide you guys with an exact script that i only make available to my coaching students, to those that pay me between two to $10,000 to teach them, right? And I'm actually gonna teach you guys and show you guys exactly what I teach them, right? So let's go into it. All right, so what I do is that I use this script right over here, right? Simply what I say, hello, my name is Bashar Ketu and I'm a uh, supervisor um, of product development at BJK LLC, made up this company. We are seven figure uh, per year Amazon FBA business selling in the United States and other marketplaces. We would like to hire you, your services for to locating profitable products. Now, a couple of things as you see that I don't say that I am the owner of the company. I don't, and never when it comes to even to locating, uh, negotiating with suppliers or contacting suppliers, anything that I do, I never say, I never show that I'm a small company. I'm just like this one man, you know, show operation, right? Um, and then I say, here's what I'm trying to do. I would like the following three product ideas matching the attached product research criteria, which is something that I attach and I give them my personal product research criteria. Um, how will you be reporting Excel sheet, blah, blah, blah. How long will it take? What is the cost? Please respond to uh, this email as quickly as you can and, uh, and then just sign out. So this is the exact, um, uh, what do you call it? Script that I provide. I'm going to link this script. It's going to be the second link in the description below. The reason why it's going to be the second link because the first link is going to be to a short 27 minute case study that I'm going to be talking about exactly how I sell on Amazon, how I do what I do. If you guys want to learn from me exactly, there's no sales pitch, um, no course being sold at the end. It's just a, a, a free information that I'm going to be providing you guys. So that's going to be the first link. The second link is going to be this, and I'm going to give this to you guys. Now, I can't exactly, well, no, actually, you know what? The third link, I'm going to give you guys my product research criteria. What else do you guys want? I'll give you guys a free case study, I'll give you guys my script, and I'll give you guys my product research criteria. So check those out in the link's uh, description below. But simply, this is all it is. Now you're going to say, okay, cool. So we figured now we're not going to be actually spending time locating products. We figured we have a script. Now where the hell do we go and find, you know, uh, 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 people to actually locating our products, you know? 
there are a few websites you can go on. One of my favorites is, um, well, there is actually freeup.com. Uh, you can check that out. It might be a little bit more difficult to actually, you know, finding someone here. Um, another website is uh, Free Up Upwork. So that's another website. You guys can go and check out. Upwork is another website. One of the more the websites that I frequent most is Fiverr.com. So you guys can go to Fiverr.com, uh, Upwork, or Free Up, and literally all you gotta do is just type Amazon FBA product research. Now, what I like to do is I don't like to go for the top dogs, right? The main guys that are at the top, and then you want to go to relevance, you want to go to best selling, and then typically I don't, I, I won't go for the top dogs just because anyone else that knows about the strategy that is utilizing the strategy is probably going to go for these guys. And sometimes what will happen is that these guys will try to sell you the same list that they sold someone else, right? And yes, is that possible? Absolutely. Is it possible that these guys might try to do that? Absolutely, right? But you do got to understand is that it costs between $100 to $150 to get three very good product research uh, 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 or product niches or product ideas. And you're going to provide them your product research method and they're only going to be locating products that will actually match your product research method, uh, uh, criteria. Now, I'm going to show you guys or I'm going to provide you guys with my product research criteria. You guys can tweak it. You guys can do whatever you want to do to it. But that's exactly how I teach my students. That's exactly how we were able to scale a brand new product to $250,000 a month in under nine months, right? Uh, by simply doing this because literally we had over four dozen uh, products and I wouldn't be able to sit there and research, research, research. Now what I do for my students is on top of actually, um, you know, providing them with my product research criteria and, and exactly how to, sh you know, find a pro uh, 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 someone to do it for them and a script, I actually also analyze their products for them, right? So I kind of go above and beyond with my students. In fact, I was just on about a 30 minute call with one of my students now. So this is one of the coolest methods to actually doing product research that we're utilizing nowadays that a lot of my students are utilizing. They're finding massive, massive, massive success. And if you guys are not utilizing it, you definitely need to utilize it. So if you guys want to learn more about you know, how I go about selling on Amazon, how I was able to accomplish what I have accomplished for myself and my students. First link in the description is to a 27 minute workshop. Check it out, it is completely for free. Now once again guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this content and that you found value in this brand new product research method that I am utilizing and many of my students are as well. If you did find useful, you know, information here, consider subscribing to my channel if this is your first time. Give this video a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. Now the question of the day, what are some product research methods that you are personally using today in your business and launching products on Amazon? Would love to hear them, so please go ahead and drop those in the comment section below. And please do not forget, forget, not forget, forget as I mentioned earlier, that uh, the first link in the description is going to be to, um, to the case study, 23 minutes, all value, no sales pitch. Second link is going to be to uh, uh, the, sale, the uh, script. And the third link is going to be to my product research criteria. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next Thursday. Y'all have a great day and take care.